guys, so I just wanted to quickly sit down and finally film my three month postpartum update. Something miraculous has happened today and Scout, literally as I started to film, wakes up. Okay, so for the first time in ever, Scout is napping in his cot. Now, he is 14 weeks old now and he has gone through so many growth spurts and so many different leaps and we've had grumpy weeks, we've had really, really good, happy weeks and he normally naps in my arms and that means I don't get anything done. And I thought today, enough's enough, let's try and get some kind of routine started. So at half past 10, I came upstairs with the rest of the bottle that he hadn't finished like 10 minutes previously downstairs. Went upstairs, changed his nappy, put him in some clean clothes, put him in his sleep bag and fed him the rest of that bottle. He fell asleep, put him in his cot and put his monitor on and he's still in there. So I don't know how long this is gonna last. I may have to disappear real quick um, if he does wake up, but for now, he's asleep in his car. So where do I start with this three month update? Not much has really happened, I guess, since the last update. Scout has progressed amazingly. He's growing up way too fast for my liking. Um, he now smiles all the time. He He's just starting to giggle. Um, we haven't had those huge baby laughs yet, but he definitely has a, a ha ha moment or like he'll, he squeals. He's found his voice. He is a squealer and yeah, he is a really, really happy baby for the most part. He does have his moments where he is really, really grumpy and nothing will soothe him. And he has been refusing his bottle also, you know, throughout the past week on and off and that's been really really difficult but I think we're finally coming out the other side of that. So whilst we're talking about feeding, Scout is now not exclusively breastfed. Unfortunately for some reason whilst he was going through one of his growth spurts he stopped latching onto my left side and it was really, really difficult, he wouldn't lie still, he wouldn't latch on, it was just a really really difficult time. Because of that I didn't really have time to pump whilst looking after him during the day as well. So my supply on my left side, if that makes sense, is kind of just gone. I still get some milk from it, but not enough to feed him and he still won't match. He's just got some kind of bad connection with this side of me that he absolutely hates. So because I haven't really got much milk going on on this side, he is generally fed on my right. And because of that, I don't produce so much milk that he can constantly be fed on this one side. So now I alternate between breast and bottle. So he'll have a breast feed and then I'll have a bottle feed and he'll go back and forth. He seems to be doing okay on that. Um, he doesn't necessarily eat the recommended amount in a bottle because I'm guessing that when he eats from the breast he doesn't get a huge, huge amount of milk. And when you are exclusively bottle feeding a baby they say to feed them a lot or at least it seems a lot and he doesn't quite manage to eat that much but he's still putting out weight he's still got wet nappies he's still got a lot of dirty nappies and he's still progressing really really well so we're not worried about him not growing as he should he definitely still is um but he is combi fed now and it seems to be working out really really well i am thinking that Maybe when we start to give him some kind of solids and we, we start to wean him, maybe I'll wean off the breast and just bottle feed him. Purely and simply because I cannot wait to get my own body back to myself. I know that sounds really, really selfish, but I haven't enjoyed breastfeeding from the beginning and I'm so proud of myself for sticking through it this long that if I can last another three months until he's, say, six months old and then... If I then decide that that's enough, then I'm happy with that. I'm really, really happy that I've managed to stick at it this long because I absolutely hated it at the beginning. I actually quite enjoy it now and it makes me sad that I can only do it on one side and that he has to have some bottles. But in a way, I can't wait to get my own body back and be able to wear underwire bras and everything else that will make me feel a little bit more like me. So because he is growing, he is now about 15 pounds in weight. He is pretty much grown out of anything zero to three months. If it's a long zero to three month, 
piece of clothing he will fit in it because he's a very tall baby um, but if it is a bit shorter in the legs or shorter in the body it generally won't fit him and especially if it's a smaller zero to three it will not fit him at all on top of his cloth nappies so he's now in three to six month clothing he even wore some shorts yesterday that were six to twelve months what I don't understand they were a little bit big but they fit him around the waist obviously because of his cloth bum and yeah, I was like, oh, you're growing far too fast. So I don't know what else I can really update you guys on about Scout. He's all up to date with his jabs. He's got his next lot of jabs do -do -do, on the 26th, I believe. And that will be his last set until he's a year old. So after these, he's jab free until he's one, which is crazy. I cannot believe that, you know, he's already come to that point in his life where he's coming up to his last set of baby baby jabs and then afterwards it'll be after his first birthday which is really scary to think about so i just thought on another little feeding note he has kind of grown out of his reflux um i think last time i spoke to you his reflux was quite bad still and we were having to give him gaviscon to keep his milk down but we now don't have to really give it to him i haven't really i don't think i've given him gaviscon for at least two weeks um and his reflux is a lot better although he did puke all over Liam the other day and i I think I will insert a picture here because it's pretty hilarious. That was Liam's own fault. He was holding him up in the air, playing Superman, and yeah, happened all over him. But yeah, his reflux is a lot better, and I think that helps with his weight gain as well. Um, because in his eight-week checkup, the doctor said that he'd dropped a couple of percentiles on his weight. He wasn't quite continuing his weight growth as he should have been, so we needed to keep an eye on that. But since then I have been keeping an eye on his weight and I've only been using our scales at home to weigh him. Um, we do need to actually go to the clinic and get him weighed properly. But I've checked against the weight that he has been on our scales for the past week and a half, two weeks, against the growth chart and he's back to where he was on his percentile like line. So he is back on track with his weight. So I think the fact that his reflux has kind of died down and gotten a lot better has definitely helped him gain some weight. Sleep-wise, we're still not getting a full night's sleep. Um, he's actually regressed a little bit with sleep. Um, he was going down at about eight or nine o'clock, sleeping through it until about one or two, and then he'd sleep through until four, and that's usually when he started to stir and think it was morning. But recently, he's been again going down at eight or nine o'clock in the evening. He'll then wake up about 12, I think, is what he usually wakes up at now. Have a quick feed, go back down, wakes up again about three, half past three, um, or I think the latest he's woken up has been about four, he'll have a feed, go back down, and then he's starting to wake up at six thinking it's morning. So we've kind of gotten him to sleep a bit longer, but he's waking up more in the evening, in the night time for feeds. So that's why I'm trying to get him in a routine with naps during the day. I think that's probably why he's waking up a lot at night, is because he's not got a routine going throughout the day. He Whenever he slept in my hands or my arms during the day, Bug would wake him up with a bark, the door would go, the phone would go, something always woke him up. So if he's in his cot, it's quiet in that side of the house and hopefully that means that things will start to get a lot easier sleep-wise. So I think that's really all I've got to update on Scout. I really don't think there's anything I need to update on with Scout. Yeah. So for me, three months postpartum, where do I begin? Um, my weight loss has kind of hit a plateau for the last month. I am currently 220, 221, um, which is actually six or seven pounds lower than my pre-pregnancy weight. So I have lost about half a stone more than what I gained through my pregnancy, which I'm really, really happy with. I just hope that it will continue to drop. Um, I am actually starting a new feature on my blog on Wednesdays which will follow my weight loss journey. I need to do something to focus my mind to lose this weight because at the minute I'm really disappointed that I stuck at a plateau for the last month and I really only have myself to blame because I haven't been eating brilliantly and I think if I start to document it and keep a bit of a diary, wow toot toot, um, this cat's awake, then Be right back. Okay, so I'm gonna have to really 
quickly wrap this up. I have no idea what I was saying about my weight loss. I'm going to start documenting my weight loss on my blog on Wednesday. So if you're interested in that, head over onto my blog every Wednesday. And I'll keep on track of that. I don't know if you guys can hear his music on the monitor. Um, I have also started losing my hair like crazy. Postpartum hair loss is no joke. They do not joke about that. I cannot wear my hair down at the minute. I have two little tufts here that always stick out. If you watch our vlogs on our vlog channel, you will always see my hair just like sticking out here. Which is not fun. Um, I can't wear my hair down because it just comes out in clumps. Bath and baths and showers are just a total chore because I'm constantly trying to take hair off of myself and scalp is I feel so sorry for scalp he's always covered in my hair um what else what else I I don't know if I mentioned it in my two month postpartum update but I was having trouble with my gallbladder liver I was having some pains and cramps I actually went for an ultrasound about four weeks ago now and I'm still waiting for my results which I'm really unimpressed with um, because if there was something wrong with me I'd want to know so I could get it sorted and they are taking an absolute age to get back to me to tell me if there's actually anything wrong whether I have gallstones or anything else I have no idea my last set of blood tests um, came back absolutely fine my levels were back to normal and my liver was okay so really we we're only looking for gallstones now I had another set of blood tests this Monday just gone but I have to wait and get the results and wait for the results of those two just to check that my levels are normal still um but I'm going to quickly show you my belly and I'm going to head off to this grumpy baby and try, to try and settle him so yes I am wearing pajama bottoms as usual and this is my stomach Ugh. three months postpartum my lovely mum tum my stretch marks look so much worse now than they ever did before but I'm trying to tackle those now and hopefully this will go soon because I don't like this podge but eh, I've got my lovely son out of it thank you so much for watching this update sorry I've had to cut it really really short I'm gonna insert some clips of Scout at the end of this video because obviously I haven't got him right here he's in his cot going ee -ee right now um so I will insert some clips at the end of Scout how he is now and I will see you guys next Friday with hopefully another family Friday video please subscribe if you are new and I will see you soon bye guys <coughs> Brrrr.